Hey everybody, welcome to this month's question of the month. Uh, and as you know, I answer a question every month. Just go to yoganatomy.com forward slash my question and you can submit your own question. So this month's question of the month comes from Alejandro. Uh, hi David, I have two questions. You're only supposed to submit one, just so you know. Um, have you encountered body types where it is not feasible to jump through the arms from down dog into seated and back, e.g. long legs, short arms, or can it generally be attained with enough practice? The second question, do you know any preliminary exercises that help us towards achieving this transition other than practicing the transition itself? Thanks, Alejandro. So, question number one, um, are there body types where it's not feasible? It's hard to say because you would have to, you would have to know, uh, you'd have to follow them and make sure they worked really hard every single time or every single day to, to really test to know if it's not feasible at all. But I would say that there are definitely some proportions that don't lend itself to uh, easily jumping through and jumping back. I have to say, for every configuration I've seen, um, I, you know, an example, um, short arms, long torso, short femurs, for instance, which is probably the one that would have uh, the most difficulty. Short arms, long torso makes it really difficult. You'd have to really curl the torso up so that the butt is sitting higher relative to where the shoulders are. Um, but I've seen people who fit that configuration be able to jump through and jump back. Um, you know, maybe slightly worse than that, uh, long torso, long femurs, short arms. I, I, I have to imagine that would be one of the most difficult to do. Um, so generally, I like to believe that it can be attained. Um, there's a whole bunch of other things that go into the lift up and the jump back that you need to make sure you're doing. Um, I'm, I have a feeling you're a regular visitor to my website. You know, check out the articles on serratus anterior. Um, I'm assuming you're struggling with this because you're asking about it. So, you know, make sure you're engaging your serratus through sun salutations and through all of the lifts that you're doing because the serratus being part of that lifting up easily adds between one and three inches to height. All right, so look into that, um, and, and which is tied to your second question, any uh, preliminary exercises. You always want to look back, as I just suggested, into all of the other areas in your practice where you can engage these very same muscles. Um, if you think it's a strength thing and lifting up, then you know, focus on the serratus anterior. If it's a proportion thing, you're not going to change it. But one, one really good way to test to see if your body proportions will allow for it is to reduce the amount of weight that you have to lift. And this is actually the the way in which I learned to do the jump back the first time, I was in a pool, uh, and Jose, we're not talking about your pool. Um, I was in a pool, and what I did was I used the step to lift myself up and swing my legs through. And I could do it in the pool, which meant proportions are definitely not an issue. I could tuck enough. So what was the real issue? At that point, the real issue was strength. So if you think the proportions are an issue for you, Go ahead into a pool or something, and if you can do it there without touching your feet and you're lifting your butt up high enough and all that stuff, then proportions is not the problem. I hope that answered the question for you. Uh, anybody else, if you got a question, go ahead and submit it, yoganatomy.com forward slash my question.